start show in the throne room. A bloke with a booming outside voice crowns Tom and King. Proud as punch, bowing, friendly smiles, then fucking queen blocked. Cersei and Marjorie talk about how shit Joffrey was. They talk about Tommen's potential to be a good bloke king. It's almost like these two are getting along. Fucking scrap that. Marjorie denies that she thinks about being queen. Cersei stares bloody daggers. End on edgy incest joke. Dario has stolen some ships for Danny. She acts mad, but she's totally not. She asks her best friend Jorah if it will be enough ships to take King's Landing. He says, nah. He tells her that all the cities she's freed are under control by fuckheads again. She has a private chat with her bestie, concluding to stay put and rule in Marine to build her CV. Littlefinger and Sansa have set foot on dry land and head through the bloody gate of the Eyrie. Cut from epic shot to everybody needs a bosom for a pillow. Sansa meets her auntie Eliza and sheltered cousin Robin who breaks the ice by mentioning Rob's head being chopped off and then goes to show Sansa her bedroom. Time for some clinginess. Liza is fucking obsessed with Littlefinger and wants to tie the knot straight away. She reminisces about how they plotted her former hubby's death. John Aaron and how they blamed it on the Lannisters. Their prob's a good creepy match. They have loud sex and no housemates can sleep. Tywin and Cersei discuss more weddings. Tywin reinforces that their family needs money from the Tyrells, so that's why Cersei has to marry Loras. The Lannister super pit gold mines are out of money and they have a shit ton of debt with the Iron Bank. Cersei understands that she has to get married for the family, but reckons her brothers don't do shit and reiterates Tyrion is guilty. Arya says the names of all the shit blokes that she wants buried. The Hound discovers that he's on the list. Awkward. Aunt Liza tells Sansa that her mum used to be a heifer. They scoff sweets until Liza turns into a fucking unhinged Fruit Loop, banging on about Littlefinger always loving Caitlyn. She accuses Sansa of being pregnant, convinced Littlefinger has fucked her. She then switches into being nice again and says Sansa can marry her milky son. Same shit, different castle. Brienne and Pod are on their road trip. Brienne wants him to fuck off, but he won't. The Hound waits to discover Arya is gone. She's practicing her water dancing. She tries to stab the Hound and he smacks the shit out of her like a schoolyard bully. Cut to Oberyn writing poetry. Cersei invites him on a walk. They talk about his eight daughters and the one he named after his dead sis. Cersei empathizes and discusses dead Joffrey. Cersei then talks about her daughter who she hasn't seen for ages and asks Oberyn to give her a gift back in Dawn, a fucking sweet boat. Oberyn says no worries. Pod is a shit survivalist. But then he shares the story how he killed a bloke on the Blackwater saving Tyrion and finally gets some fucking respect from Brienne. Cut to the Night's Watch traitors still pillaging and plundering like a degrade footy club on a Bali holiday. Locke gathers intel. Jojen, Bran and Mira discuss psychic supernatural crap, always talking about where they have to go. Firehand. Locke reports back about the drunken morons. Move at sundown. Mira is tied up and shit is about to go into fucking rape territory again. George and taunts Tanner, saying he envisaged him dying. Fucking attack time. Locke finds and kidnaps Bran, but he wargs into Hordor to become fucking Brandor Unchained. Locke is suddenly grabbed by Brandor and lifted up off his fucking feet. Fucking neck snap. Bran wants to see John, but it's piss poor timing. Jojen reminds Bran of the three-eyed raven. A three-eyed raven is pretty rare, so Bran reckons they should go. John finds Carl Tanner. Combat begins. They suss each other out. Tanner gets a stab in. John has to start fighting dirty too. Just when it looks like Tanner is gonna win, he's fucking stabbed in the back. Then the face. John is reunited with Ghost. Being a top bloke, he invites the Sheilas back to Castle Black. They say, yeah, nah, fuck no, and burn their shithole house down. End. Kit Harrington is finally becoming fucking awesome as Jon Snow, and high five for a Craster wife daughter getting that first stab in. We spent a lot of time with the Stark kids in this episode, and it was very much about them learning when to fight dirty in life. It's a depressing fucking reality that we all learn some days. Despite how much parents try to instill top bloke morals in their kids, there are always those lying self-absorbed fuckwits that are gonna test those morals, and the only way to beat them is to give them a taste of their own medicine. Sadly, that can involve using and manipulating someone else like fucking Hordor the Gentle Giant. The Lannisters are pros at being assholes to protect theirs and their own. I like this scene a lot. The way Tywin talks about the Iron Bank and the amount of power it has keeping everyone in debt sure did remind me of modern life on Earth. 
Their family has always been fucking wealthy. Dysfunctional pricks, but wealthy. The Starks have been in the opposite position for some time now, so I wonder if things are going to turn around and the Lannisters become poor buggers. Cersei was bloody interesting in this episode. It felt like she was being emotionally sincere, but boy, I'm one of them trusting pricks. Like that time I thought that Locke could become a good bloke. Remember that? Yeah, I'd be dead. The scene with Oberyn was her most convincing as a broken woman, asking him to pass on a message to her daughter when he gets back to dawn. Is she really in an honest and introspective mood? Or is she purely trying to get all the judges on her side so Tyrion can be found guilty and executed? Yeah, probs that. The biggest moment of reflection in the episode was when Liza said she killed her husband for Littlefinger. This is huge as it goes back to Season 1, Episode 1. Littlefinger made sure she blamed the Lannisters, and it's the reason Ned Stark fucking went to King's Landing. It fueled the whole Lannister-Stark conflict. I always thought Littlefinger was a cheeky behind the curtain man, but he just reached a whole new level. He's after the fucking crown. This was a beautifully paced episode, and the boss fight at the end was fucking sick. I'd forgotten how much I barrack for the Starks, and it was good to see him get some kills. Adventures of Brienne and Pod is warming up. We haven't seen Ramsay and Reek for a while, so they can't be far away. And the outlandish theory of the week is that Danny and Jorah will hook up next episode. <laughs> uh. Tones Abbott and George Brandis will likely shut down Australia's internet soon because of piracy, so it's important we build our army and learn to fight back dirty like the Starks. Subscribe to me channel and join me on Facebook and Twitter. Fucking see ya!